you want to grow your quads, you got leggy legs, you got the chicken leg syndrome, leg extension, super set with walking lunges, five sets will destroy you. I took a trip to Houston, Texas to visit what many are calling the world's best gym. So of course I had to call up the biggest guy I know to smash leg day with me. Elf line athlete, Big Ron Jones. This is where we embrace the suck. Hamstring curl with a stiff leg, dead left. So hamstring with more hamstring. Hopefully this hurts terribly. My count's running between 12 and 15 reps. Check this out, you guys. It's easy to have your bar uneven. So make sure you mark it off with the standard markings. On here, there is a smooth and rough. Go ahead and make sure you're even on both sides. Live long and prosper. So it's even. I always feel hamstrings is the most neglected muscle group, so a great way to shock them into growth. We got a leg machine here, you know, seated leg curl, prone hamstring curl, pick your favorite. And then stiff leg deadlift right here, slight bend of the knees. I'm going to toilet for two. And so are you. Pink but did you yours. die? All right, you see that? That's, That's where you're headed next. Short rest time, it's a super set. You try to do weird things, like not weird, but you know, out of the box things. Yeah. This past week, I intentionally only did two sets of each exercise I did for that workout day. Right. So chest day was only two exercises, right. but it was six sets of each one. Okay. About 45 seconds in between. Right. Bro, I so was just the whole than usual? Shorter, or I'm always about 45 seconds. Yeah. But I was actually just doing more sets of the same exercise. Right. What I'm saying is, is day one, bro, legs destroyed. Yeah. By the way, these are normal size clips. I'm just, I have huge hands, so I don't know. Give me five more. We're gonna superset leg extension, really focus on the quad, get a killer pump. And because we're savages and we wanna to torture Ryan today, we're gonna to do dumbbell walking lunges. I love lunges. Obviously, don't skip squats, the base movements, but if you're just trying to get a killer mind muscle connection, killer quad pump all around leg workout. Literally, if you did five to 10 sets of lunges and push yourself, that's one hell of a leg day as it is. Right to big Ryan. I'm gonna do a leg extension. I'm gonna set this with plate loaded leg press because lunges just don't really sit well with my knees anymore. I don't like the way it feels. So the question was, what's the best thing for under butt? Truthfully, the actual answer is this. No matter what size your glutes are, they can look good. So if you're 120 pounds or 170 pounds, you can make your glutes look good regardless. This is how you have to do it though, separation. You must see the hamstring apart from the actual glute. What you have is my hamstring here, but as my glute begins from here, there's actually nothing there. Now, if you have a little bit of fat here, what happens is it's gonna go from hamstring all the way up, instead of coming in and then back to the glute, it's going to instead come all the way up because there's fat there, it's gonna keep going. So you like you have a long ass at that point. Hamstring, when you're lean enough, it's gonna come in and then back out to the glute. So the idea is to have separation. Hamstring separate from the actual glute. There it goes. Right there, and back up. There it goes. See it? Yeah. Now you see what you're saying. So what you're trying to feel earlier, you see it there now? That's that under booty you're talking about. That's that tie-in area, okay? Uh, like the cue I was giving Kat is this. When she comes down with this deadlift, I want her to feel like she's falling forward. So I'm standing behind her because if her butt hits me too much, she's sitting back too much. So find the stretch point on the low half, come back up, but before it relieves itself, get back into it. People we'll say when you point your toes out, you're hitting more like inner. Do so, you believe in that? So from a kinesiology standpoint, there is no difference, but from an experienced, tried and true bodybuilding, physique developing standpoint, there is a difference of emphasis. So just play with the differencing of I do feel a little more. If you want to grow your quads, you got leggy legs, you got the chicken leg syndrome, leg extension, super set with walking lunges, five sets will destroy you. Leg press actions. I mean, it's obviously good if your back's hurting, you don't want to do squats. You can get a phenomenal leg workout doing the good old leg press. Make sure you guys go slow and controlled and do not lock out your knees. If you lock out your knees with heavy weight, you got weak ligaments, it's going to be snap city, guys. Give me five more, Ryan. Absolutely not. I'm turning to become not last place in the Super Even game. A little bit of balance, too, you know? This is probably, if you really push yourself, I would say top three hardest leg exercise. We're going fairly light today. I still got another week or two of kind of rehabbing the partially torn groin. And then you better believe we are hitting this shit hard because I got a repeat superhuman games champ. I'm just trying not to be last. I'm bringing the heat this year. So the key is you don't want to come up all the way. I go real deep, you almost pause it. I'll stop about right here. Weight's kind of like on the back of my heel. Really feeding your glutes and your quads. 
So I'll show you guys a super set you can do. Anyone trying to get more athletic, any athletes watching the channel, then what you can do in your fatigue, go here, try to get explosive with it. Oh. My little tidbit, Troy never stopped bodybuilding and athletic training. I really stopped athletic training years back. So now things like a ballistic movement like that just destroy me. Kudos to him for never stopping that. If you're up and coming in this whole fitness industry, keep your training versatile. Me and Troy are the same age, but he can do certain types of training that I just really can't do and I just don't like the way it feels. I am not someone who just destroys calves. It's too close to compromising your Achilles tendon. When you tear your Achilles tendon, your life as you know it changes. Cardio changes, training changes, everything changes forever. Go after your calves, but not with reckless abandonment, all right? Trust me. You try to get a real like deep stretch at the bottom when you hang out in this position? Very interesting. So I don't like to go for that super deep stretch. For that super deep stretch, it may give you a little more range of motion, but it does shift a lot more emphasis in that Achilles area. And I'm telling you guys, Look it up, by medical average, the place or time you tear your Achilles is between about 30 and about 38. It's a common place. I never understood why the calf raise machine allows you to load up with some four plates on each side. Yeah. Who in the HALL is doing 600 pound calf raises? You're not even getting a good pump if you're doing that heavy. It's just like ego lifting and bouncing. I want to know who can actually do that much. This is not a challenge, but I do want to know who can do eight plates and a calf raise. I'm not challenging you, <laughs> but if you do it, please tag Troy or myself. All right, so this is our third day in Alphaland. So overall, big grind. What's your thoughts? It's a vibe. Alphaland in and of itself is a vibe. You hear the music going, so it's always without your headphones in or with them in. You got the nice music and stuff going. I will tell you one thing though. I don't want to be the old guy complaining, but it seems to me like the amount of those who are focused on influencing right. in fitness but aren't truly doing the fitness first yeah. threw me off a tad bit. If I'm in it, actually build my legs for a good leg workout, or right. we did shoulders and arms. Yep. You gotta actually have shoulders and arms first. Yeah. You can't record the process the whole time if you're not actually doing the actual work. It's cool to document and vlog or whatever you wanna call it, but make sure you do the real work. First of all, it's an amazing place. Christian did an incredible job. We have, this gym's really cool. Yeah. There's another incredible gym. I mean, we got two basketball courts. The place is insane. What he built is very unique and I give him map props for it. I think the influence is just so heavy here. It's like everyone wants to be an influencer. Like Big Ron was saying, yesterday we were in, I think it was gym one, and I went to grab some dumbbells. And I just look around, I noticed that every single kid has a tripod set up and they seem way more focused on getting the angles and they're thinking about the content. I just didn't feel like the workout intensity was there. So maybe it was just their day filming and the other days of the week, they're crushing it but i respect people who document the journey but you got to put in the work at the end of the day thanks for watching the team alpha line leg day and it is officially cyber monday this is going to be your last chance to grab the biggest savings of the entire year we're actually dropping a few new products today exclusively as well as up to 40 percent off site-wide and up to 60 percent off select stacks we got new apparel dropping and a bunch of new supplements so simply go to alpheline.com to achieve and conquer all of your fitness goals and let me know in the comments below what team workout you want to see next no games you ain't with no weights <laughs>